Oh, goodness. Just finished restroom practice. Uh, it's pretty rough today. I'm gonna tell you what the set was. Really focusing on 200 rest today, so uh, it was long. It was really pretty rough. I'm really just trying to put up good times at nationals. Hopefully being faster than I was last summer. And she's now the fastest American in history. Eight 300s rush stroke. Four 100s I am. 300 rush stroke pull fast twice. Right into it, right into it, come on! When you do have a race that's hyped up like that, it's a lot of pressure, I think. And it's hard to swim three races fast in a row. Let's hear it for your champion, Lily King. Lily, Lily King. A 100 kick, three kicks, one pull. 100 swim, double pull out. Probably the hardest thing I've done in this group. It was awful. <laughs> let's go, let's go! Stay with him! I'm doing all this to be the best brush in the world. You could never test us. Oh yeah, cause we're the best. We go. So I started swimming um, with a club when I was eight, I think. It was a really small club. We didn't have a lot of lane space, but you know, we had fun and we made the best of it. And that's kind of what got me here. Let's stretch and let's get ready to get in. I really wasn't even intending on going to IU. Since I'm from Indiana, I wanted to like leave the state and do something new. And then um, I honestly realized that I love it here. It's all out, all practice, but that's what makes me good is, is those hard sets and pushing through when I don't want to, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> good five turn I am, 25 kick, 25 swim build on 350. Mike is a man of few words, so when he does say something, it has a lot of meaning to it. Lily King has quite a few medals in the short term of her international career. These are two of Lily King's four world record certificates. When I touched the wall, uh, you know, I saw my time. I still can't really describe the feeling. You start to think about it and you're like, why me? Especially, you know, thinking back to the Olympics, it was like, how the heck did I, did I win an Olympic gold medal? But I don't tend to keep medals. I think knowing that I accomplished what I accomplished is, is what's important to me. She keeps her Olympic medals, but she's let me borrow those. She had them in a grocery bag for a while. This one is hers, and it's here. That's a big trophy. You know, that's just Lily. She doesn't worry about what people think of her. Lily King. Question, what's up with the Crocs? I don't know. I love, I love my Crocs. I got them last summer. I like didn't have any flip flops and I was like, you know what, dang it, I'm getting some Crocs. But they're so comfy and now it's kind of a gag. <laughs> I ain't doing this without the money. If the Crocs are gonna get people to laugh, then that's a good thing. What's up everybody, Olympic gold medalist Cody Miller here. Cody is always vlogging. What's up everybody, Wednesday morning power set. It's breakfast time. Every day wants to talk, every day. Meerkats are my all time favorite animal. Let me know if you like Blake's mustache. He likes it. Uh, his camera's always in my face. Okay, this summer's USA Swimming Nationals is a really big summer. The most important team and the number one team they're selecting is the World Championship team. You have to be first or second place in any individual event at US Nationals and you make the World Championship team. And then they take third and fourth place and those people go to the Pan American Games. They're also selecting the Pan Pacific Championships this summer in Tokyo from that meet. They're also qualifying World University Games, which is like a mini Olympics for collegiate athletes. The way to qualify for that is to get first or second in any individual event at US Nationals, and you have to be in college. So needless to say, Summer Nationals this summer is a huge summer. Our elite team just came together in the past, I'd say two to three years. It pretty much started with the 2016, you know, Olympics, getting kids there for the U.S. and then winning gold medals, and then more people came. We're firm believers in grit here. And part of grit, as we define it, is having a growth mindset. 
we believe that you can expand ability. We have like a really great support system here at IU, um, you know, whether it be the coaches or, you know, my teammates, they're my best friends, you know, we're together all the time and they see me at my best and see me at my worst. And I've trained alone before. And once I got here, it wasn't like that anymore. <laughs> and I'm so thankful for that. It's double plot, oh. swim coming up. No, but like, look, if you were stuck in like a 15 by 15 room, okay. what do you have a better chance of survival with? It's definitely a crocodile. A polar bear. Oh, no, 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 no. What's your debate about that? What's the most vicious animal? That's, Cody thinks it's a polar bear. I don't think, I don't think he's right. Cody Miller actually recruited me here. Um, he's one of the reasons I came here. Okay. I like, kind of disagree. Like, if you were standing there and a polar bear just saw you out there, like, it would go after you. A polar bear's not gonna like bite you and then thrash you around like an alligator would. Yes, it would. Four, five, eight, use the fin. Mike's probably like the perfect coach for me. I don't like a coach that's like, you know, yelling at you every 25 to do something different. You can tell how much he cares when he talks to you one on one, especially. Six one, you send one to three down the red, then 50 easy. He's just trying to get them moving through heart rate zones this morning. If they're at white, 23, 24 heart rate. If they're at pink, 25, 26. And if they're at red, 27, 28 for a 10 second count. We'll go all the way up to like blue and purple throughout the week too. The way that I make pink is 150 white, dash of red. <laughs> <laughs> and then it becomes, and then it becomes yeah. pink. Yeah. <laughs> Blake is a middle distance freestyler, but I'm pretty sure he could swim anything he wanted. He's so good. I don't know what makes it like my special event, but I, I think the two free yards is my favorite event. Ashley, you're a distance swimmer. <laughs> Ashley is a distance freestyler and she is a goon. She's so funny. Monday morning, it's always the same. Uh, come in, warm up, and then we do some double pulleys, which is hard. This system is, you're not going to see it at many places, but they have power racks. I like this because you can monitor how much weight you're really doing, whether it's 80 pounds, 60 pounds, 20 pounds. I think it's huge for my training. It's made me a lot stronger. If you could be a 50 freestyle, would you? No. Oh. Why? Are you kidding? That's a lie. She's lying. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. I think finding the right environment is huge. You know, just having people in the same position as you has helped me a ton. We might have slightly different goals, but we're all, you know, giving 100% in these practices to achieve them. You know, I think just supporting your teammates and encouraging them at practice to swim as fast as they can, that's super important. Okay. I'm toast. <laughs> In breaststroke, at least, the rhythm is super important. When you finish the stroke, if your rhythm's not right, then your line's all out of whack, and then you're not going to travel forward as fast as you want to. It's almost like a golf swing, like that's how I compare it to, like you can try and smack the ball as hard as you can and it will go like three feet behind you, right? But like in breaststroke, it's like having the perfect timing, perfect technique and everything. It's a really tricky stroke. Make sure you have a very fast kick that's really narrow. Work on ankle flexibility, that's huge for improving your kick. Pulling is really important. Having your arms be able to withstand an entire race, they're usually the first things of your body that tire. No matter how fast it gets, Ray is going to yell at you about your pull. Um, <laughs> She's one of the best pullers. She should not be going that slow. If you watch the last 15 meters of my race, I pull away. King looking to sweep the breaststroke event. Because all I do at practice is pull, so I think that helps just because it's such an explosive stroke. You cannot do more than one dolphin kick on the pullout, or you'll be disqualified. Oh, learn to hold your breath. That's really important in breaststroke, um, just because, especially in short course, we're underwater for sometimes over half the race, so hunter breaststrokers need to be able to hold their breath for sure. It is make or break for a lot of swimmers. It's a really important nationals.
I think I have a good shot. I'm gonna go for it. Can't control what other people are gonna do. Just focus on myself for this meet. I know there are a ton of little kids up there that wanna watch me win a race. And I just love like walking out into a crowd full of screaming people. That's what makes me so fast. From Indiana University, Lily.